everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be talking about two dax functions all and all selected but before that i will recommend you to watch the previous video where i have explained what filter context is and the most important dax function that is calculate function link is also provided in the description box for your reference to begin with let's first understand the difference between all and all selected these two functions all function ignores any filter applied on the visualization but all selected function it only accepts the filters which are coming from outside but ignores the filters inside the visualization now you may think right what do you mean by outside filters or what do you mean by uh, inside uh, visualization filters right so let me just show you some examples it will be easy for you to understand so in this visualization i have only taken total sales and there is no filter applied to it it is just showing the overall total sales and in this table visualization i have taken market and by market i am showing total sales so by each row it is getting filtered by the dimension value so that is what filter context is so this is what i am referring to as the filtered inside the visualization so basically both all and all selected function will ignore this filter which is there inside the visualization now what do you mean by outside filters so see here i have created two slicers here market and category so this filter if you select some value for example if you select africa or if you select office supplies so you see the values are changing so this filters are coming from like outside the visualization so this is what i am referring to as outside filters also again let's just uh, clear this filters if you for this particular visualization if you go to this filter section again you will see there are some options where you can apply filter on the visual or filters on the page or filters on all pages so let me add europe so this is also considered as outside filter to summarize all function will not consider any filter be it inside the visualization or if the filters coming from outside the visualization while all selected function will not be impacted by this inside visualization filter it will be impacted only by the filters which are coming from outside i hope it's getting little better now once i create some measures using all and all selected you will be able to understand even better now again let's go back to the first page all function returns basically a table with all the rows and or all the values if you are specifying a column there and ignoring all the filters as i have said it will not consider any filter whereas all selected returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column while ignoring only the inside visualization filter and considering only the outside filters and this is the syntax so it's like all function and you specify the table name or you can specify the column names and most of the time we use this all or all selected function as intermediate function along with the calculate function so now i'll create some measures using this all and all selected so you will understand how i can use this functions to create measures so first i will create a measure with all function so let's go to orders right click new measure let's call it total sales all so as i have already said that it acts as an intermediate function or you can say that it acts as a parameter for calculate function so calculate then i already have total sales created comma now i will use all and you can either specify the table name or the column name so let's go with the table name so table name is orders done okay let me also create another measure with all selected so the syntax is very similar so again let's name it as total sales all selected calculate total sales comma all selected and specify the table name orders and done now let me add these two measures to this table view so total sales all selected and total sales all as i have already mentioned that this two functions will not be impacted by the filters inside the visualization 
so that is the reason it is showing this total value because it is not getting filtered it is completely ignoring the filter context inside the visualization now let me show you how these functions work when i select some outside filter right so as per the definition all function will not be impacted by any filter irrespective of wherever it is coming from while all selected function will be impacted by the outside filters so let me select uh, europe and technology see here all selected is being impacted so whatever value is showing here it is being impacted one two double three five six nine whereas all is still showing the grand total value now let me select few more values let's go with asia and uh, go for technology now what do you see this all selected function again it is ignoring this row wise filters it is ignoring the filter context but it is showing the grand total based on the outside filter so the total value is 4978337 this is what it is showing so what does it mean it is still ignoring the filter context but it is showing the value based on the outside filters that have been selected whereas all function it's still showing the grand total value ignoring all these filters so see here more filter value you select from outside the visualization you will see it is always ignoring the filter context inside the visualization but it is showing the grand total value based on the filters that you are selecting outside the visualization i hope now you are able to understand the difference between all and odd selected now you may again think right uh, where can we use these functions what are the use of these functions in real time project so let me give you two scenarios where these two functions will be useful so for that first let me create a percentage of total sales using all function let's go to new measure let's call it as percentage total sales all let's use divide total sales comma total sales all and just change it to percentage and let me include this measure to this report basically i have created the percentage of total sales based on total sales all for asia pacific it's calculating this value 2581107 divided by 12642502 so what does it mean it means that it is considering the grand total of total sales irrespective of the filters which are being selected outside the visualization sometimes the users they are probably very much fine with this kind of calculation where they want to see the percentage of total sales based on the grand total of total sales whereas sometimes at the users they might ask you to show the percentage of total sales based on the values that you are selecting from the slicers so that is the time you can't use total sales all that is the time you have to use total sales all selected for your percentage calculation so let me again create one more measure where i will be using all selected function for my percentage calculation so let's name it as percentage total sales all selected divide total sales comma total sales all selected and save let's include this to my visual see here now it makes more sense right because it is showing the percentage of total sales based on the filters that you selected outside your visualization and that is the reason you are seeing it as 100% over here so which makes more sense so in most of the cases all selected makes more sense if you are showing percentage of total because it it will consider the filters that you are selecting outside your visualization whereas again it completely depends upon the requirement and if the users they want to see the percentage of total sales uh, irrespective of the filters used then you have to go with all function and if the users want you to show the percentage of total sales based on the filters being selected then you have to go with all selected function
Well, that's all for today's video. Uh, I hope now you were able to understand the difference between all and all selected function. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.